This is the fourth scanning day we've had now in Cardigan, and I doubt it will be the last because this has proved to be very successful. What we've asked people to do is to bring in old photographs and documents that have some connection with Cardigan or the area so that we can scan them, so we can create a digital archive of the history of Cardigan in images mainly. Documents also can be very interesting. And as a result of this, we have already held one very success, successful exhibition on old school pictures. Before today, we'd scanned nearly a thousand pictures. Today will definitely take us over the thousand, and they cover all aspects of the life of the people in and around Cardigan over the last at least about 150 years. Some of the photographs go back to the 1850s. We've had a school photograph brought in this morning, for example, it was dated 1898, 99. The photographs of some people go back even further. Um, another one that came in this morning was the opening of Cardigan Station in 1886. The value of scanning them is, it's amazing with some of the old photographs how good they are. If they're high quality, when you scan them, it is actually amazing the detail you can get out of to, to, to bring to life faces of people who are now long dead, make the picture look as though it had only happened yesterday, is, is quite an amazing thing. When we had the first exhibition of the school pictures, to see the look on some of the people's faces when they saw pictures of themselves when they were younger, or their parents, or their grandparents, and to see the excitement they had and the thrill they had of seeing those pictures, many of them blown up, much bigger than they'd ever seen them, was wonderful. Um, we had one picture last week when someone came in and identified everybody on a picture of Cardigan Boys School in 1904. And to have that information suddenly turn up, I mean, it's wonderful, but it's, 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 it's a, a very important part of a historical archive for Cardigan for the future. We've, people tend to think we are concentrating on older pictures. We're not. Today's pictures are part of tomorrow's archive. Today, somebody's brought in some pictures of the building of the bypass, done within the last 20 years. That's really important. That kind of pictorial history is recorded. How the town has changed, how the town has evolved. We've got pictures of shops as they were over a hundred years ago. To have those and see how they are now and can compare them, it all shows how the town has developed. So I can't underestimate how important this, we always thought it would be, but it's definitely proved to be in improving our knowledge and understanding of how cardigans developed how people lived, how they looked, what sort of society they lived in a hundred years ago, even fifty years ago. To the, to the children of today, that, that of course is ancient history, but, but it's been a very worthwhile exercise. And it started for 2010, it isn't going to finish, I'm sure we're going to be continuing this for a long time.